guys, I'm back with another video. Now if you have watched my previous videos, you know that I challenged myself to shoot the sunrise 30 times in a row. So I'm glad to say that I managed to wake up at 6.15 uh, from the 5th of May until the 3rd of June. It wasn't an easy feat, but I managed to do it without missing a single day. So the rules I gave myself for this challenge was simple. Get up and photograph the sunrise as though I was shooting at the actual location. Now whenever I photograph the sunrise or sunset, I always arrive at least one hour early. And here are three reasons why you should always start at least one hour early. Reason number one, the best light and the best colors is oftentimes pre-dawn before the sun even crosses over the horizon. And I'm gonna show you the results of this in the 30 day challenge. Reason number two, even though I would have scouted out most locations beforehand, it is good to be there early to make sure that I have the best composition and framing. Being there early gives me time to look for interesting foreground elements and to try out different compositions that may work better. Reason number three, if it's a popular location, being early allows me to pick the location where I can set up my tripod without having to compete with other photographers. Certain locations only allow very limited space for photographers and uh, in certain spots there's only space for one photographer. But of course, that's for actual locations. I don't think I'll find someone else in my house. I also allow myself to continue shooting for up to one hour after the sunrise just in case something spectacular happens uh, while the light is still directional. From the results of the entire shoot, I choose the best shot of the day and uh, edit it to the best of my abilities. So you might be asking why? Why did I put myself through this? And the reason is, even though we are not allowed to go out now for photography, I didn't want my skills to get rusty. In these 30 days, I've kept my hands familiar with my camera, my tripod, my filters, and every day I'm looking up new and different editing techniques to keep my skills up to date. And I kept learning new ways to make my photography even better. And it was a very interesting experiment. Um, out of the 30 sunrises, how many would I consider to be usable? Which ones are my favorite? How many shots were chosen that were, that were pre-dawn before the sun came up above the horizon? And how many shots were chosen when the sun was already high up in the sky? These are my favorite images. Now out of 30 shots, only 5 of these images were taken when the sun was above the horizon. 25 images were shot when the sun was still below the horizon. And that just goes to show that the best time to photograph the sunrise is often before the sun even comes up above the horizon. My favourite shot? Now, that's tough. I would say between 17 May, 11 May and 2nd June. And I think 2nd June is my favourite. It's actually a composite of two images. The foreground and the sun star was taken at 7.04am and the clouds were taken earlier at 6.48am. If you'd like me to show you how I blended these two images together, which I did within a few minutes, let me know in the comments below. My least favourite photo? This one. Out of 30 shots, 9 images had some sort of god rays from them. Uh, the shaft of light that comes out from the sun, which is just spectacular when it happens. Despite Singapore's high rainfall, only one image was taken during the rain. In conclusion, I'm really glad that I did this challenge and remained productive during this circuit breaker period. I now have a unique set of images that will define my circuit breaker experience in the years to come. And I'll put a link uh, in the video description below where you can check out all 30 sunrise that I shot during this challenge. As usual guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys have been doing during this uh, second breaker period. Remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, shalom and goodbye.